And welcome back to the sports arena. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me just go ahead and just update those who might be just joining us right now. This is where we currently are at with regards to the AFC East, our predictions for both the New York Jets and the New England Patriots. Let me go ahead and get the entire crew back in here. We got our girl, Megan Price from the Sip Off, Ty Ray from the Save What Say It Again Sports Talk Show, my brother, Mr. Alex Fleming, Fantasy and Flavors in the Florida Sun Review, and the two gentlemen who I'm sure are not going to let any of us get a word in edgewise for the rest of the show this evening, Believe in the Pac-12's Michael Michael Carrotsnudo and Rep Miami, Mr. John Shear, <laughs> Sideline Sports <laughs> Network. All right, here we go. Ty, did you really say the Jets are going to go 2 and 15? 2 and 15? That is what he said. I'm waiting on the question. <laughs> I'm saying that is the question. You really think that the Jets, with all their additions, with a better coach, are going to go the same won. record basically won. that they did last year? Oh. <laughs> That's his answer. Good. I'm glad he got called out, but he's in the championship. All right. If I, if I could quote Megan Price, she did in hey, fact look, say. Man. Hey, look, and say what, man? All we know about is winning, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all we know about. I don't know nothing else. They know the eye test. All right. Eye so, you know, test, not stats. All right, gentlemen, here we go. And is, our is that girl, Ray Megan Price. jersey? Because that's the only that's Miami Dolphin player I know. Next Super Bowl, next Super Bowl champion. Ray <laughs> Finkel? That's, that's Ray Finkel? Uh, Finkel jersey? Ray Finkel! Finkel! It's Einhorn. It's Einhorn. What, baby? Oh. <laughs> Gentlemen, if you will allow me, please, I'm going to pull up Miami's schedule really quick so y'all can see what's going on. Presented by Publix here. 17 and 0. The Miami Dolphins schedule. Yeah, okay. Miss like Megan Price. Well, five five dollars. Dollars. I'll you pull you that back up one more time. Yes, sir. Four, five, six. Oh, you counting seven. now? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Miss Megan Price, please, the Miami Dolphins, please give us your assessment and what you think is going to happen with this team. And the rest of y'all be quiet. <laughs> Um, I think Miami's going to do well. I have them finishing 10 and 7. Um, I think that first stretch is going to be kind of tough for them, though. I have Buffalo taking the first mm -hmm. matchup. I have Tampa Bay um, winning. I have the Colts winning. And then I have a four-win streak from 6 to 9. Um, I do think they lose against Baltimore. And I think they lose against the Jets late in the season. And I think they lose the last week to the Patriots. So 10 and 7 for Miss Megan Price. Alex Fleming. Miami Dolphins, sir. What do you think? You know, this is all depending on Tua. I got Tua winning eight games because his ass just can't seem to stay healthy. Don't know about that hip. And John Shear was slick last week because he mentioned, hey, Tua beat the Rams. No, he didn't. The defense had a touchdown. Special teams had a touchdown. He threw one touchdown, and I believe Gaskin ran in for one touchdown. So Tua didn't do much of anything. He had horrible stats in that game. But people are overlooking week six, the London game in Tottenham Hotspur against Jacksonville. If you haven't been paying attention, these two teams don't like each other. It's almost like a Florida rivalry because we don't even need to talk about the Tampa game. That's a handwritten ass with it. I'm sorry. That's an ass whooping for Miami. I'm not even going to mention that Tampa game. Back to the London game. I think Jacksonville surprises them in London because coaching matters. Um, Miami has nothing for Baltimore. I'm saying that nicely. They got nothing for Baltimore. And, I mean, do, do, do we need to talk about Buffalo? Do we need to talk about Buffalo? 56-26 with most of those points coming in the fourth quarter? All right? I mean, look. It's one this game. Is, this is Buffalo's division. I'm going to let you two have at it. But anything other than that is uncivilized. Miami has to beat New England the last week of the season in order to get into the playoffs. I have them with Megan Price, 10 and 7. Tyree, say what? Say it again. Talk to me about this team, please. Say what? Say it again. Say it again. Right. <laughs> say it, this is, I'm a little confused. And, and the reason why I'm a little confused is my man a little too hype off of last year. And the, the thing I don't understand about last year is, let me let, let me read off the wins last year. I'm going to take a little trip down memory lane. They beat Jacksonville last year. They was terrible last year. They, they beat us last year. Man, we had so many injuries, I can't even count. They beat the Jets. Come on, should I say any more? They beat the Chargers. They wasn't very good last year. They beat the Jets. Come on, man. They beat Cincinnati. 
Oh, they was terrible. New England, we already know injuries. A lot of people opted out. Las Vegas, they was off and on. The only two wins I can really give them credit for is the Rams and the Cardinals. And they lost to Denver. Come on, man. <sighs> I think I'm about to go. What, what'd you say, Alex? You said you said eight and nine. What'd you say? Seven and ten? <laughs> if you were paying attention. Seven and ten? <laughs> He said, I was he paying said attention, but you said you said like fifty thousand things. He said I mean, ten and seven. This is my second cup. Can we come? Come on now. He said ten and seven. <laughs> mm. Shout out to the sip off. Whatever. I see this. This is. I'm perplexed because whatever I pick, I'm about to hear my hear Chuck's mouth all year. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go nine and eight. Nine and eight. Got. You got to win the Patriots. I think the Patriots finished better than them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take the rest of us off the screen because I'm going to allow these two gentlemen to have their moment. Michael Caratanudo, I'm going to allow you to go first since you are talking Buffalo. And then, Mr. John Shear, I will give you the opportunity to rebuttal. Gentlemen, I'm going to pop in and out just to let y'all know we do have a time limit on this show, but I'm going to give you the reins for a moment here. Wait, am Mike I giving Car- you Miami's record or am I just going to Buffalo? No, you're going to give me Miami's record, sir, but it's going to oh, be okay. just you and John. All right. Did Megan get to go? Right. Yes. She went? Okay. Yes, yeah, Megan. She went. already forgot seven. that. 10 and 7. There you yeah, go. Todd, you pay attention? No, I, 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 I don't. All right. Mike, <laughs> the floor is yours, sir. All right. Miami, look, they did okay in the draft. I mean, they didn't have any uh, fourth, fifth, or sixth round picks, but all right. I'll give them Jalen Waddle. It's not going to do anything real. I mean, it'll be good, but again, now it's NFL corners, not the uh, ha- the bottom half of the SEC pathetic corners that he faced. That being said, week one against New England, I'm kind of leaning with Eric as much as I despise New England. Uh, he wants to get that game. Uh, and then week two, obviously Buffalo owns them. Uh, they beat Vegas. Uh, Indy, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> that's tough. Tampa probably beats them. Jacksonville, I see what Alex is saying. I don't. I I agree because they, they do play very well over in uh, London when they're drinking tea with the Queen. They'll kill Atlanta. They'll lose to Buffalo. They'll kill Mr. Houston. Mr. Tanudo, if I can interrupt you real quick, we can't see your face. The world oh, needs sorry. to see you, brother. Oh, sorry. As you as sorry. you speak this, okay, okay. Sorry. There you go. Thank you. So anyway, Thank sorry. You. Right. So they they kill Houston. Uh, yeah, they got nothing on Baltimore. The Jets. Eh. Okay. They, they they could beat the – well, actually, that game's in New York. So I'll give that to the Jets. Carolina, they should beat. The Giants, I would hope they would beat. They beat the Jets, lose to New Orleans. That Tennessee game, I don't know. Depending on injuries, where Tennessee's at. So I'll go I'll go 9-8. and eight. I'll be generous with the Dolphins. I'll go 9-8. and eight. Um, Alex made a great point. Tua didn't finish too many games. And the games he did, his numbers weren't great. He's going to have to prove it. If he proves it, maybe they get better. They're still not better. I mean, New England, with everything they brought back and the money they spent top to bottom of the roster, they're not better uh, than the Patriots. They're definitely top to bottom, not better than the Bills. So that leaves them better than the Jets and fighting for their uh, playoff lives that last week, unfortunately, against New England. Fair enough. So I go, I go nine and eight because I'm just not impressed with what Tua did last year because he didn't do much. Alex is right. All right. Mr. John Shear, this is your team, sir. So you are an analyst and you are someone who I truly respect and does know the X's and O's of this game. But I know that there is a soft spot for the Miami Dolphins in your heart. So as best Mm -hmm. as possible, sir, I'm going to ask you to try and be unbiased and give us a realistic expectation for what you feel your Miami Dolphins are going to do this year, sir. All right. So low the expectation has to be back to 10 wins. You won 10 games last year. The roster's better this year. You got rid of Chan Gailey. You have duo, duo offensive coordinators, however you want to say that. I've never seen two offensive coordinators sharing the same duties, but that's going to happen. Uh, Brian Flores is in his third year. He won five in his first year with the tanking team. that had no talent at all. He won 10 games last year with nothing but rookies, nothing but guys on new deals. That's impressive. This year, he finally gets an opportunity to put himself over the top, get himself in the playoffs. So minimum has to be 10 wins. You can't go backwards. The goal should be 12 wins. You get an extra game. Normally, it would be 11 wins. You probably could stay off of this team. But with the extra game, 
you probably can go and get 12 wins. So the expectation should be 12 and five winning the division one game over Buffalo is what should happen. Beating the Patriots at home They'll have a one game lead over Buffalo going into that last week, of the regular season <laughs> beat the Patriots as they always do in Miami and they'll win the division outright. <laughs> that's how that that's how it should pan out <laughs> two games better than what they were the year before it's fair expectations with a 17 game schedule Eric, so i'm gonna say 12 and 5 is this so, a sports arena comedy hour so so mr Shear, you're saying 12 and 5 is that what i'm understanding yeah yeah so you so you said expectations can't go back yeah so i'm gonna say 12 and 5 is, is what they should go team got a lot better the rookies to a second year. The offensive line had three rookies last year. Those guys are on their second year. Got an offensive lineman, I believe, in the fourth, third round, who is fantastic. The guy looks looks like Mr. Incredible. If you haven't seen the Incredibles, um, so the team just got better. And they might get Melvin Ingram tonight. I mean, before the show ends, they might get Melvin Ingram. I mean, that guy's a stud. Ad, imagine adding that guy with Jalen Phillips and Christian Wilkins and all those guys on the D line. Like, how? I mean, that's. That's scary. And All right. That's scary if you ask me. Simple as that. Winning the division. Simple as that. Five, no, best defensive the division. backs. Best defensive backs. They got McCourty off the Patriots. They just got McCourty a couple weeks back off the Patriots. That? That's it's a great pickup. No, it's no, it's 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 ice Arizona, tea, dude. Arizona. It's Arizona tea, man. He's bragging on so hateful, Ty. He's bragging on them sons beating your Lakers. That's what All he's right. doing. No, no, Ty, Ty, I'm not talking trash. I just want to know, first, since he's talking about Miami real quick, oh, how great do those Heat look? Oh, yeah, they're going to beat the Bucs. I have to give the Bucs their props. Talking the, basketball, the gentlemen. 46 points in the first right. quarter. No I'm hitting all let's, those get to, let's get to the, the real hat. champs. Let's get That's, to the real champs. Can I, can I give my pick, Mike? Can oh, I, yeah, oh, I, yeah. I'm sorry. I thought you. you did, Eric. I'm sorry. No, I didn't. No. Oh, I no, thought no. you did. My bad. When I look at this schedule for Miami, I have to agree with John Shear. It is about the expectation that is put forth not only by Brian Flores, but by Tua to be better. So to translate from five to 10, there is already a level of, you know, we expect the Miami Dolphins, even with a 17th game, to be in the wild card. And that's what I said previously. I think Miami is going to have to have some gutsy games, some games where it's going to come down to Tua to be that fourth quarter comeback guy or the defensive side to get that final stop and put the nail in the coffin. But looking at this schedule, what I see is you have games such as a New Orleans Saints with as Mike, your point was spot on. My brother, Sean Payton is still the head coach. Now we all hope that it's Jameis Winston, but the fact of the matter is they have to be able to pull it out. You've got Tennessee. And depending on where Tennessee is, as far as trying to sew up their AFC South crown, which I don't see them doing it this year. That's just my opinion. And to all the Tennessee Titan fans, you know what? Hey, sorry. You have Derrick Henry and you have Ryan Tannehill. When you get a better defense, then come talk to me. But until then, you're behind the Colts. You got a problem with it. It's my opinion. Deal with it. Opinions are like booty holes. Everybody got one. So you want to bring that schedule up? Sure, I can bring it up, please. Because I'll run down what they're what they're going to win once you're done talking. Okay, my sure. point is when I look at this, and I'll pull it back up for you, John. When you I look did all at that this, talking and then Pete, I didn't. No, pick I just want to show you what, what I think. Oh no, I just want to show Pitt. you what I think. How we're going to get to twelve wins? John's going to say with the five wins. <laughs> you don't got to do losses. it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> but my stretch is, I think Miami, like I said, is going to have to fight to get in. I am going to give Miami the nod just because I got to see what Cam is able to do working with all the weapons that he didn't have last year and that defense. So I will give Miami the nod and say Miami goes 11 and six, but it's going to be, they are going to be a battle tested 11 and six John really quick. Cause then we do have to go to Buffalo, yeah. but I'm going to pull the schedule up. Please give me your thoughts on the five losses that you think your five Miami losses. Dolphins are going to have. Yeah. So they're going to win the first game in Buffalo, lose the second game. They're going to lose to the Colts and, Buccaneers back to back lose to the Ravens and then they're going to go lose to the Saints on Monday Night Football in New Orleans. That's going to be their it's going to be their five losses. Okay, here's the funny thing, Eric. I just relooked at that first five games. 
literally talent wise, I think Vegas they could be one and four after five. And I don't I think the only game they would be favored Vegas isn't in, good. Yes, that's the only game they'd be favored oh, okay. in against Vegas. <laughs> Buffalo's gonna crush them. New England, I think, will beat them at home. Buffalo crushed them. They beat Vegas. Indianapolis, what do they do? Oh, they run the ball and they play defense and they punch you in the mouth. And okay, good luck because uh, good luck with that. And then you get Tampa, who, like Alex said, is going to absolutely demolish them. So there's games through week five. You can be one and four behind the eight ball. But all right, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be better than Buffalo. Okay, I just wanted no, to get no, even out Buffalo. Even out Buffalo in this is in the season series. That's what they're gonna do. 